Uh, our next guest is uh, the Beat Poet Laureate of Massachusetts, it's Paul Richmond. Uh, he's a poet and a publisher, and a uh, very nice guy. I stayed in his house last week. Please go to the stage. I used to like to wake up to tweeting birds in the morning, have the window open and listen to the birds tweeting. Now I wake up to a tweeting madman, tweeting about war and walls and the truth isn't the truth. I have many friends that are depressed, and in America we're told that shopping cures everything. So just go shopping. So when I woke up one morning feeling very depressed over one of these tweets, I decided I need to go buy a very big box of happiness. And I can find that at a big box store. So I ran down to my big box store, and when I got to the door, they said it was on sale in aisle seven. So I ran down aisle seven, and when I got there, there was the Dalai Lama standing in front of a pallet with only one box of happiness. I looked at him and I thought I could give him a body check and grab the box. I mean, isn't that what America is about? There's two of us and there's only one box. But he didn't seem like he wanted to fight over it. He said it was something about breathing, something about focusing the mind, focusing the mind on everything and it's nothing, or maybe you focus on nothing and it's everything. I got a little confused. But then I realized I have the Dalai Lama standing next to me, so I should ask him some questions. I said, do you have any stock tips? Can you help me with my poker game? Do the Buddhists have any good pickup lines? He didn't answer any of these. He started to walk out of the store, and I followed, leaving the box of happiness. And in the parking lot, he said to me, you know, I'm not a religion. And we separated. And as I walked towards my car, I realized I wasn't depressed anymore. And I opened the windows, and I sat there, and I listened to the chanting. 